Art is fundamental to our society. It brings us joy, deep thinking, connection with one another, and a deep understanding of the world we live in. If that doesn't do it for you, the arts contribute 7% of our economy here in Victoria and 9% of our workforce. And yet the arts are chronically underfunded. There is not one arts organisation in my electorate that is not struggling with funding uncertainty. And I hear from artists who are leaving the sector in droves because it is just too hard to make ends meet. This government has done good work to support the arts during devastating federal cuts and during the pandemic. But independent artists, who are the bedrock of our culture, have been overlooked, made to compete against each other and miss out on paying themselves because project-based grants just don't stretch far enough. We know that Helen Garner wrote Monkey Grip on the doll. Today, that would be impossible. While my colleagues at a federal level are pushing to raise the rate of income support for everyone and abolish mutual obligations, we propose a groundbreaking trial to introduce a living wage for artists. I hope that the Minister for Creative Industries and this progressive government will consider this to support artists with the stability that they need to create the important work of our time.